What's up guys, I'm Damon Zell and we just had the new content update drop and get installed and with it came an entirely new set of problems for the game in the form of multiple types of bugs. Let's talk about it. All right, so we got this new update, we installed it, and now we're running into several different errors while trying to play the game. The first and most prevalent is connected to the hard missions as well as the adventure trials. And what they're doing is it's giving you more attempts than what's supposed to be there. So if we go right to the abilities uh, section here, and we're gonna run the Lost Artifacts Adventure here, tier level 4, obviously because I have not hit that level 50 yet. I know, I'm lagging behind. It's alright. But, when you go to auto this, it's giving you a 20 times attempt for this. And that's going to cause an error when you try to go ahead and do that. Now, you can back out of it. There is workarounds around this. And yes, the devs know when we're going to get to that. But... It's going to cause an error and it's not going to award you what you need. So the easy workaround is, is when you have that slider, just slide it back down to the attempt that you're supposed to have because it does give you the correct attempts up top, which is three. So just slide that slider down to three, hit the auto, and you'll be able to collect uh, your uh, stuff from that adventure. Sorry, I'm having a brain uh, freeze today. Now, it's the same thing with the hard nodes as well. When you get into one of those hard nodes, as you see here, I'm farming my luminous crystals, trying to stockpile them, but it's telling me I need, you know, I have 20 attempts at this hard node, and we all know you can only do five. So trying to hit that 20 is not doing anything for us. It's giving us an error code and it forces us to back right back out again. Now, I have tried restarting the game and, and did all this stuff. It's a known issue. So again, like the abilities, what we want to do is just bring that slider back down to five, hit the auto, and you'll be able to collect uh, that node. So that is the workaround on this. Now, as you can see through the Trello, they do have this as a dev tracker. It, they are investigating, and most likely they will have a, you know, a small hot fix patch that's going to be sent out within the next 24 hours, hopefully, to fix this. And a lot of the others are graphical issues. So we are seeing in, say, the supply store that it's giving not the... It, you have the right currency there, but it's giving you the wrong icon up top. As in this instance, submitted by Thalador, as you can see here, it is giving him guild energy, and that's not the currency that should be up there. And it should be your gold count. Now, the count is correct. He did... He did say that the currency value is correct, it's just the icon that is wrong. And the same thing goes for RJ53 Sep, who had the same issue, but unfortunately his shows gems, and wouldn't we all wish we had 194,000 gems? Uh, yeah, I would love to have that amount of gems, I'm sure everyone would. But again, it is just a graphical issue. Another issue that comes up with when you're trying to buy something, uh, buy something from the guild store, it's giving you a time check instead. As you say here, you know, giving you six hours and 30 minutes, and it, it should just give you that. So this also is just a graphical issue. They're going to fix that as well. Now, there are instances where the game has been locking up as well, as reported by Mogleth, that he even did this multiple times, trying to change out the borrowed guild character, for progressing and the game froze every single time when Eldon's turn meter reset for his turn and he'd have to restart. Another instance of that also happened uh, reply, uh, by, I'm going to go Ori C. I, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name, but same thing here. The game kind of froze on the campaign level and he says it's it didn't really freeze, but he just can't uh, input attacks. They can't so they can still select things such as the chat, uh, auto, and speed, but the auto doesn't do anything. So again, he has to do a hard reset on that. Another issue reported by Lundra is that the collect button is missing for the for the calendar rewards, and they can't get that information. Now, a few other have reported the same exact thing, and like I said, 
with every new content patch, there's going to be some issues that I guess escaped quality control or they weren't. Uh, they didn't come across this on their test server, but here we are with these. Gorehound also says that uh, some of the dwarf mechanics don't seem to be working. That Killy's basic says heal the most wounded character for X percent of Killy's health. His basic is healing summons before healing the actual wounded characters. In, the, in uh, this case, uh, Yomer's uh, summon specifically gets healed before anyone else. Uh, Killy's heal doesn't proc when called to assist by Philly's basic. Uh, Killy is still doing a basic attack, so the assumption is that the heal should still proc when called to assist uh, or counterattack or whatever, but that mechanic is not working currently as well. So take everything with a grain of salt, and I hope that this workaround for the your hard node farming as well as your ability farming uh, through the adventures, I hope this trick helps you guys out. Again, just bring that slider back down to the correct mount it should be, and you'll be able to progress through your node. I also want to hear from you guys. Put down in the comments if you come across any of these bugs or different bugs since you've updated with this content patch. I want to hear about them. So, again, I want to keep this short and sweet for you guys. If you like my content, go ahead and give me a, you know, hit that subscribe button. Uh, share and link the video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. And have a great week. Have a great weekend. And here on the channel, we're always one vision, one purpose. One friend.